Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of Super Bomberman. I have been trying to do a retro game once again for the longest time, and I have been <laughs> working hard on doing so, and this is pretty much the best that I can possibly do that my computer can handle without having any issues with computing power. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you drop bombs with the A button, and you use the D-pad to move, and that is pretty much it. That thing that I grabbed right there it lets you drop more bombs. Uh, you can drop up to nine bombs at once, and right now I have two bomb power-ups, so that means I can drop three. And really, that's all there is to this game? <laughs> it certainly seems like that at first, doesn't it? But strategy aspects start to show their faces as you go along in the game. Um, that little item that I got there was a fire-up power-up. It increases the blast radius of your bombs by one square. This can also go up to nine. Um, that intro that you've seen at the very beginning, you know, the flashy film cinematic background thingy thing, well, that is not in the American version of the game. That was for some reason taken out, and I just decided to add it right back in. Well, I had to get the, you know, Japanese thingy, but still. <laughs> um, the objective in each level or world, whatever you want to call it, is to kill all the enemies, then find the portal and exit the place. It's very, very simple, yet extremely addicting, as you'll see as I go into it later. You can also get hit by your own bomb blasts, which will kill you, as will the enemies themselves. It's classic, uh, whoa, <laughs> it's classic, uh gameplay mechanics there if you so so much as brush an enemy for some reason you die i don't get that but um if you blast the portal that's the thing that if you exit the um level that'll if you go into that portal excuse me the uh level will end but you can't go into it until you destroy all the enemies and if you blast that portal more enemies will respawn out of it so that's one of the sort of things that you have to be careful with and is also a part of the strategy aspects that I'll be covering later. Come on, little guy. Thank you. I just need to blow you up once. Thank you. <laughs> and now I can go into the portal and go to the next level. I took a long time to explain it because, you know, that's just the first thing and how it goes. Um, you can abuse your invincibility time here by r rapid spamming bombs like this, but I don't really know if I can consider that fair. <laughs> Needless to say, you can chain explode your bombs if they get caught in their own explosions, and there will also be enemies that uh, will explode a little bit later on in the game. Um, that's all I really have to cover about that. I don't want to spoil anything until I get there. And I'm also going to let you interpret the storyline how you see fit, at least until I get to the very end of the game, then I'll explain it. Because I think uh, with, some, with some games it's just more fun to interpret things the way that you want to. Well, I shouldn't say the way you want to, the way you envision it as opposed to it being spelled out for you. So I'm just gonna see uh, what your thoughts on the story is throughout this game. And yes, there is a little bit of story as you've seen in the intro, and there will be a few other little pieces along the way as we go, you'll see as we get there. Oh, by the way, those items that I pick up, those little square things, there's different variations of them as well, which also add to the strategy of this game. I'm in these early levels, I'm blowing up all these things just to look up. I mean, look for more items to get, because they... Oh, they're li just like that right there. Because the more power-ups you have, the better off you are. Um, there's also a little roller skate item thingy, and what'll, that, what that'll do is increase your speed. Um, okay, come on, bunnies. Yeah! I feel so bad for destroying the bunnies, or at least they look like bunnies. I mean, look at them, they're so cute, but alas, I must destroy the bunnies, otherwise I will never, ever finish the levels. I think it is a worthy sacrifice. By the way, uh, drop a bomb when enemies are five squares away from where you're standing, and they'll, they should get caught in the blast of it, unless you have a higher blast radius, of course. Then you will have a lot easier time to time your blasts, and that's... As I said, why you- Oh, I, I really want that! That's called the kick. And what you can use that for is to kick bombs by walking into them. 
<laughs> By the way, you lose items like that if you should ever die. Uh, not, not like bomb ups like that, but I'm, I'm talking about special items. There's also a remote control, a boxing glove, a wall walk. Uh, I think there's a bomb walk. I'm not sure if that's in this game yet, but it's definitely in its sequel. Yeah, there's a multitude of sequels for this game. I might do the second one. It all depends how this one goes. You know what, I, I really don't feel like going after those two at the bottom left corner there. I'm just gonna leave the level. And now, here's the bomb enemies I was talking about a little bit earlier. That uh, after a little while, they blast just like a regular bomb, and they have three squares in power. Uh, you'll notice that some enemies take multiple hits to destroy, like these bubbly headed guys things. I have no idea what they're called. In fact, I don't know what any of the enemies in this game are called, but hey, what else is new? This is a PK Gam walkthrough. I, I walk through the gameplay, not the tiny details. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, see this vest here? It gives you invincibility time, so you can do this if you want to! Yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna abuse that. <laughs> Although that will probably come in handy for you if you'd like to try that on certain places like bosses. Yes, this game does have bosses. Despite its initial appearance of just destroying the enemies as you go, uh, it just starts out really basic and then it adds in more strategic elements to it. Thank you, bomb guy! <laughs> You see that at the bottom right corner there? You can also, some, well, sometimes, lead enemies into other enemies to cause damage to them. Again, another strategic strategic aspect of this. Bomberman games look simple at first appearance, but the more you get into them, the more you'll see that they are worthy of their cult classic status. And there we go. These games, these Bomberman games, I lived slept and breathed these games as a kid. I mean, these... Oh, 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 hello, remote control. Now, this is a really awesome item here. Drop a bomb. Now, wait, I'll show you that blue guy's. He can eat your bombs. <laughs> so you so you normally have to time your bomb blasts like that, and yeah, um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take care of him because he's really in the way. Now, if you drop a bomb, he'll actually go after that bomb, but... Otherwise, you'd have to time your blast, but since I have the remote control, I could just do stuff like that to really cheese that enemy out. As a matter of fact, the remote control adds another element of strategy to it, as well as speed, so now I'll be able to really blast through these things as fast as I possibly can. By the way, you blow your bombs up by pressing the B button, or... Oh, sh <laughs> shoot! And I lost my remote control. Um... That's how you could do your remote control thingy there. And I also lost my kick as well, which is really disappointing. Um, that's really all there is to that item. I'll eventually find a boxing glove later on that'll allow me to punch bombs with ye all Y button. And I can't blast those things without hitting the portal. That is blasphemy. Yes, I just did a pun there of sorts. Oh, and the reason why I died there was because I'm using a Xbox controller for Windows and it's D-pad. I've never really been comfortable with the D-pad because what happens is that it, it's... It's like a really, it feels like a ro I'm rotating on some sort of round ball, like, sorts, rather than it being a flat surface. So what happens is that I accidentally end up hitting diagonals. <laughs> it, it, it works, it's just that I, I'm not used to it, that's my issue. And I'm gonna end up dying for it. Oh dang it, that, I wanted that wall walk item. That, that item that you've seen there, as I said, was called a wall walk, and... Uh, it allows you to walk over these blocks right here, the one that I'm pointing at here. You can't walk over these. There's a difference between these blocks. You can't blow up the red ones with the squares. They're always in a grid-like fashion, like these things right here. But these ones, you can blow up. They're called soft walls. These are called hard walls. Um, that's really all there is to that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show that, which makes me very sad. <laughs> It's, it's pretty fun to just like jump around the level by, you know, by being able to just walk through the whole thing and just skip most of it while you're, you're able to uh, destroy trapped enemies and stuff like that before you have to blast them out of their containment areas, so to speak. Maybe I'll get another one a little bit later. In fact, I'm almost positive I'll get another wall walk item later. Uh, but first, I'd like to find where the heck the portal is. <laughs> ah, there it is. Because I, I just want to make sure that I don't like get myself into a position that 
I'll accidentally blast the portal, or the, that bomb guy will accidentally blast the portal and cause other enemies to spawn. Um, I think I'm gonna end it off here. Uh, well, actually, no, wait, I, I can go on further. I'm, I'm miscounting the seconds here on my <laughs> cam studio here, so I can keep going. It's just that whenever you record too long with cam- Whoa, those tank guys, in case you didn't, didn't realize, they shoot fire. <laughs> um, if you record too long with cam studio, or at least if you do it, or at least if it does it with me, I don't know if it'll do it with you, but uh, what'll happen is it'll corrupt the uh, vid video file, and I'll have to do it all the way from the very beginning, which would really suck, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, extra life! Those little Bomberman uh, bodies there, right there, are uh, extra life. Yeah. Didn't really have to say more than that. I, I don't know why I'm over explaining things here, but there you go. Um, bomb guy, you will get blown up. You'd think that a bomb, you know, that can blow itself up, you know, to blast other blocks as well, would also, you know, like be immune to other explosions, but that is apparently not the case. But I, I probably shouldn't question the game logic, and I really should get rid of that bomb guy down there, otherwise, he's gonna be incredibly in the way otherwise well at least if he gets over to that portal otherwise those tank dudes aren't really all that much of a big deal i can just time my blast to hit them and woo i'm a little frightened when they gang up on me like that though well i get they, they, they weren't they won there kind of aimlessly but that aimlessness also gives them unpredictability and in turn, sometimes can lead to deaths. Come on over here. Oh, dang it. <laughs> and wasted bombs. Well, actually, you have an unlimited supply of bombs, but still. Oh, dang it. Go, 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 go. Move, 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 move. Oh, okay. Coming over here. No. Stop. Why are you not going over to me? I, I am tasty, delicious robot meat. Come do There we go. Finally. And speed up. Then also get a little bit faster when you grab those things. Yep. And next level! Every eighth stage is a boss. Epic music! And this guy is quite creepy. And I'm gonna sort of. Nah, I'm not actually gonna do that. <laughs> I'll show you the real way on how to do this. You're just supposed to catch them in your bomb explosion, and I believe those rocks actually hurt you. So just stay away from the front of him and try and lead him over to where you are. He sort of kind of maybe homes in on you just a little bit. It's really hard to tell with this guy, but this is the first boss of the game. It's not very hard in the least, and, and you know, he shouldn't be. That's why I was... Uh, I didn't really have any trouble just messing around there with the um, invincibility trick that I showed you a little bit later, and even though I said he was easy, he still managed to kill me somehow. <laughs> he does swing that hammer awfully unpredictably, but eh, well... It's not that big of a deal to tr to dodge at. Yeah, I don't remember if those rocks hurt you at all. Uh, I don't... Hmm. And he's dead. <laughs> it doesn't really matter at this point. Maybe I should have tested that. I don't know. Just avoid the front of him and you'll also avoid the rocks. And that's it for level one. And we're going over to the circuit circus-like place. Why did I say circuit? I think I stopped in my lettering or grammar. <laughs> but what I'm going to be doing here is pausing with the old start button and save stating between parts because, you know, I don't really want to lose the place that I am as long as, you know, with the items as well as that. But if you should ever die and get a game over, you'll get a password to continue where you left off. Uh, I, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you do um, because this is, game is a password based game and not a um, save file type game, that's why I think that. It's just been such a long time since I've played this game, and yeah, I'm still good at Bomberman, it just, I don't remember all the little details. I'm bound to get a game over screen eventually. Anyway, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part.